So Bahia noting, in order to uh, get into this practice, it, it feels important first to share the story, a little bit of the story of Bahia. Um, this is a really short sutta. If you if you don't really like reading suttas or texts like this, it's a really short one. It's an easy one, um, and it's very pithy. Um, it's in some ways one of the the encounters of the Buddha with the Buddha and his teaching that really kind of typifies the idea of sudden awakening. You know, of having a sudden realization that culminates in complete enlightenment. It's said that at the end of this exchange, that Bahia became a fully enlightened arhat, or uh, someone that had reached the highest stages of enlightenment, it just from this very brief set of instructions. Now, it should also be said that the Bahia was uh, was said to be a monk, uh, a, a, an aesthetic before he met the Buddha. So it's presumably he had some training and some some prep work that had been done before before he'd heard these teachings, and so he was kind of ready, you could say. At the same time, you know, it's amazing uh, to hear stories, even if they're really ancient ones, of people just having a sudden experience of awake, full-blown awakening, and I think it's really inspiring too. So who knows? Maybe we'll, maybe someone here will have a full-blown awakening while <laughs> hearing the Bahia Sutta or doing Bahia noting. I hope so. Um, so, so the story goes that Bahia um, was a monk, and uh, he was called Bahia the bar of the bark cloth because he wore basically a a, a bark. Uh, based uh, uh, cloth that was strewn together from bark off of trees. So he was pretty hardcore aesthetic. And um, Bahia um, one day uh, heard from this deva, this, this hey, listen, uh, there's, a, there's, there's a fully enlightened being teaching uh, over this way. You should go check their teachings out. And, and it was pretty far away, so he had to go on quite a journey to get there. Uh, it was pretty perilous, um, but finally he arrived uh, to the Buddha's uh, uh, where the Buddha was hanging out. I think it was in Jeddah's Grove, something like that, and started looking for him. And he found that the Buddha was actually on his alms round. He was out in the city trying to get some food, doing his one 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 time a day alms round. And he went to find the Buddha as he was walking toward the city, and he said. Buddha, Buddha, I'm here to get your teaching. I really need, I need it bad. <laughs> you know, give, please tell me your the essential, your essential teaching. And the Buddha's like, this isn't a good time, Bahi. I'm on my way to get food. <laughs> um, and he said, you know, come back later. Um, I'll be teaching later in the grove. You can, you can come then. And he said, Buddha, no, I really, really need to get this teaching. Like I've come so far. I, I need, I, I, you know, it's uncertain what's going to happen. Um, I may not make it to tonight. Like I need the teaching. And Buddha's like, come on, dude. Like I'm going to get some food, like come back later. And finally he asks again, and there's this sort of famous thing. If you ask the Buddha three times, he's got to oblige <laughs> or something. So he asks again, he said, really like I could die. And and in fact, the, the legend goes, he does die right after this. Uh, he doesn't make it. So good thing. Good thing. He pushed the Buddha. Uh, and he said, listen, I really need, I need to, to understand your teaching. I really want to awaken. And he, and so the Buddha was like, okay, finally, I imagine he's exasperated at this point. He's like, okay, fine. Like, let me see, like me give this guy the, the, the quick and dirty <laughs> teaching here. Like the really simple, the essential pointing out so I can get back to, to getting some food. And he says this, he says, then Bahia, you should train yourself thus in reference to the scene there will only be the seen. In reference to the heard, only the heard. In reference to the sensed, only the sensed. In reference to the cognized, only the cognized. That is how you should train yourself. When for you there will be only the seen in reference to the seen, only the heard in reference to the heard. Only the sensed in reference to the sensed only the cognize in reference to the cognize, then Bahia, there is no you in terms of that. When there is no you in terms of that, there is no you there. When there is no you there, you're neither here nor yonder nor between the two. This, just this, is the end of suffering or stress, dukkha. So that's the the phrase, the, 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 the way that he summarized his teachings in very simple terms that immediately had the impact on Bahia. He got it. He saw it. 
saw the scene just in terms of the scene, the sense just in terms of the sense and so forth. And he, he, he woke up. So this practice is really meant to, um, to take that, that, that essential pointer and to turn it into a practice. And the way we're going to do that, the basic instructions is we're, we're going to say in the blank, just or only the blank. And the blank is going to be what you're experience, what you're experiencing right now. That's the noting part. So if you're sitting here as I am, you could notice in the seeing, just the seeing, in the thinking, just the thinking, in the planning, only the planning, in the not knowing. Just the not knowing, and so forth. So we're using the same note twice in this practice, in the blank, just or only the blank. And the just or only part, you could use those either of those interchangeably. So whichever one you'd like, you can use whatever makes sense.